Hello, my name is Hagen. I'm a solutions architect in the SageMaker Edge team. And in this video, I will show you how we can use the SageMaker console to compile a machine learning model for an Edge device. In order to run a machine learning model on Edge devices, it needs to be optimized to run more efficiently and to use available hardware acceleration. The SageMaker compiler can compile models that were created and trained in SageMaker or created in one of the popular machine learning frameworks so that those models can run on edge devices using a variety of popular operating systems and SOCs. First, let's have a look at how this fits into the machine learning lifecycle with edge devices. The initial model can be created in SageMaker. That model then gets optimized and packaged for deployment on a fleet of edge devices. When that model is running on a device, the edge agent runtime lets you capture data from those models and send that data back into the cloud. The uploaded data can be used to retrain the model for better performance. The updated model can then go through the same cycle again. Now let's compile a model. To do that, we have to create a compilation job in the SageMaker console. First, we have to give our compilation job a unique name. Then we have to select select an IAM role that has the Amazon SageMaker full access IAM policy attached. In my account, that's the SageMaker Edge Manager role. Next, we configure our input. There we have to specify the um, S3 pass to our model artifacts. So let's switch over to the S3 console and find our model. Here it is. Please note that the model artifacts have to be in a zip tar file. Let's copy the UI to that model and put it into our configuration here. Uh, then we have to specify the data input configuration for our model. Um, for the MobileNet B2, that's a single tensor uh, with this shape. And we also have to specify the framework that was used to uh, create the model. This finishes the input configuration. So let's have a look at the output configuration. Here we have two ways um, that we could choose to um, specify the output. We can either select a target from a predefined list of devices, or we can select the target by specifying OS, architecture, accelerators, uh, and some other parameters. I want to compile my model for Jetson Nano, which is one of the predefined devices. So let's find that in the device list. And then the next option um, are the, some compiler options, which are optional, uh, but that kind of depends on the device. If you find, want to find out more about this, uh, you can have a look at our documentation. There we have a list of all the supported devices, as well as examples for compiler options that might be needed. For the Jets Nano specifically, we have to specify the GPU code, TensorRT version, as well as the CUDA version. And while I'm here, I also want to show you that we have a list of the supported frameworks, including the versions of these frameworks, and also a list of models that we have tested against our compiler um, with the different platforms that we compiled against, um, as well as the different frameworks. So let's go back to the uh, job configuration and put in the uh, compiler options that we need for the Jets Nano. And then we can specify the um, output location, which again is an S3 pass. So let's go back to the S3 console. Uh, and select the path that we want to write the model to and configure this here. Um, and then um, there's an optional parameter for the output and an encryption key that um, the compiler can use to um, encrypt the resulting package when it writes it back to S3. Um, I will leave this open uh, for the demonstration. The next um, configuration is a stopping condition uh, you can use that to manage your um, S, uh, AWS cost. Um, but please note that if the compilation job can't finish within the time that you specify here, that uh, all the intermediate data will be lost. Uh, and if you want to restart it, you have to start from the very beginning. Uh, then you can also use uh, your VPC if we have one uh, as a compilation job resource. Um, I leave this open for the demonstration. And then lastly, there are some tags that you can attach to your compilation job, uh, um, similar to other AWS resources to make management easier. Now that we have all required parameters in here, we can submit our job. Um, the compilation will take a couple of minutes, um, so I will come back when this is done. Our model is now done. You can see it took about five minutes um, for the compiler to um, compile our model for the Jetson Nano. Let's have a look at the details of our job. You can see the parameters that we put in. 
as well as uh, where the compiler wrote our um, uh, compiled model. You see that it uh, used the uh, base file name from the model name and attached the Jets Nano, which is our target device, uh, to the name and wrote it to the um, folder that we uh, specified. Let's go over to the uh, S3 console. Um, and there it is, um, our um, compiled model, which is now ready for packaging and later deployment to the edge. This concludes the demo. Here are some additional resources, including a link to our documentation of supported platforms and devices, as well as links to notebooks and workshops that can help you get started with SageMaker Edge. Thank you.